back to Main Street Living. When you're running your own business, there are a lot of things to manage, guys. As a small business owner myself, I know it's almost impossible to be an expert on everything. That's right. And one thing that every business owner has to deal with, like it or not, is taxes. But have no fear, we do have a tax expert here to simplify even the most complicated tax questions for business owners. Please welcome in tax attorney, Adam Brewer. Adam, thanks so much for joining us again on Main Street Living. Yeah, thank you. Happy to be back. So of course we have more tax questions for you. First of all, what are the types of business entities that business owners can use? Yeah, I had a feeling you'd ask this question. So <laughs> this time of year, this is when you know business owners probably just got uh, handed a pretty, pretty big tax bill. Um, and so naturally the next question is, you know, how can they save taxes? Uh, how can they save on taxes? And so that's where these business entities really, uh, they, they may come in. So, um, so yeah, what we're looking at is corporations or limited liability companies, you know, more commonly called LLCs. So, um, so definitely by using either a, a corporation or an LLC, um, tax owners may be able to, um, or business owners may be able to really save on on taxes. Okay. Now, um, I have um, I actually have a corporation uh, through through my business. Now, um, I've noticed that, and you know, you have to pay the pre tax, um, you know, like the estimated tax. So, is there an overlap between the types of entities? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a ton of overlap. So initially, you know, LLC was kind of a distinct entity type. A corporation was a distinct entity type. And then, you know, as time goes on, they, you know, new additions to uh, the way they operate. And so now there's a ton of overlap. So, yeah, you could have an LLC with an S-Corp election. Uh, it's going to be operated pretty similarly and, and function pretty much the same as someone who has a, a corporation and made that same S corp election. So um, it's really, it comes down to the elections um, as to, you know, where that overlap is. But, um, but yeah, that's always a common question. You know, when I talk to my clients and it's like, well, what type of entity do you have? Uh, it can create a lot of confusion. So that'd be something, you know, every business owner that has an entity uh, that's something they should definitely try and figure out. So okay. Tell us why would a business owner want to set up an entity? Yeah, so beyond the tax savings, um, it just offers an extra level of protection between the business owner's personal assets, say their home, and their business operations. So, uh, you know, no matter what business you operate, you're going to have some some exposure to to liability. So, an entity like a corporation, like an LLC, it just puts that extra level of protection between between the business. And then what the owner has uh, on their personal side. Yeah, and that's um, interesting, Adam. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was just going to add one more thing. Uh, sure. For a lot of my clients, it's this extra level of formality as well. So, um, you know, when you're operating your business as a sole proprietor, there's just this natural tendency to go like, oh, there's money in that account. I need to pay this personal expense, or there's money in the personal account. I need to pay the business expense. Mm. Um, it's all well and fine during the year, the bills get paid. Um, but at the end of the year, when you're trying to, you know, come up with a profit and loss or go through your bookkeeping, it, it can be a, a real headache. Um, and so that extra level of formality, uh, it definitely can be a benefit. Yeah, that's exactly where I was about to go, because that was the first thing that they told me to say, you don't want to set up a sole proprietorship. Typically, people think, oh, yeah, I'll just be a sole proprietor. But you don't understand your business and your personal will mingle together. And if someone sues you, they're suing everything, not just yeah. that business. So how can a business owner save on taxes with a specific entity? OK, so for the most part, when we talk about tax savings, we're looking at like an S corp election. And so, again, an LLC can do that. A corporation can do that. Um, but the net result is you want to save on what's called self-employment tax. So for 2022, uh, a business owner is going to, by default, pay self-employment tax on the first hundred and forty seven thousand dollars of, ta of taxable income. So that's fifteen point three percent. Um, by doing an S corp election, putting yourself on payroll, uh, you can really drive down how much of your income you have to pay that 15.3% ad. Um, and so that's, that's going to be the, the primary area of savings right there. 
Okay. Any other final considerations for anybody, a business owner, maybe thinking about setting up a business entity? Yeah, absolutely. So in my job as a tax controversy attorney, I almost see on the flip side, it's like a over creation of entities. Um, so I would just say, you know, an entity is not necessary for everyone doing their, their business. If you're selling, you know, a thousand dollars a year of stuff on the internet, you probably don't need uh, a legal entity on the flip side. If you're operating, you know, a construction company or something like that, that's inherently uh, high risk, more likely to have high income, um, at least flowing through that entity, that's really, it's, you know, that's where it's really valuable, but it, it's going to be different for every business. So talk to an attorney, talk to, you know, tax professionals, really get a feel for it. Um, and then the final note is just as far as like tax savings go. Um, there are costs to set up the entity, to maintain the entity. So you're looking at yearly filing, uh, payroll processing costs. So um, if it's just strictly a tax savings perspective, look at you have to balance the other costs as well. Yeah, well, clearly a plethora of information that you always provide to us, Adam. We appreciate you being on the show. Where can our viewers get in touch with you for more tax help? Yeah, like always, they can visit my website, triumphovertax.com, or feel free to pick up the phone. You can always give me a call. Uh, 619-591-9500. There you go. We certainly appreciate you, Adam. Thanks again. All for right. You. Thank you. All right. Well, Danielle, similar to running a business, uh, running water can supply the community with a much needed resource, right? So up next, we're going to head out west and see a pretty cool energy saving project.